Ever since the expansion of the interstate system, with the explosion of bridges being built throughout the nation, we've been relying on them and we've used them to get us from East Coast to West Coast to see our beautiful nation. And over all this time, we have allowed these structures to continue to age, continue to deteriorate. Well, infrastructure around the nation has been crumbling for quite some time. And DOTs and municipality government entities all over are struggling to keep up with those needs. And we've gotten to a point where we need to look at that infrastructure and begin to determine how does it age, why is it aging, and what do we do with our new infrastructure so that we can extend the life of those structures. So the Beast is the first facility in the world where it combines physical loading as well as environmental loading to test full-scale bridges, a 50-foot span by 28-foot wide bridge. So here we are inside the belly of the beast. This is where we would have our bridge specimen. Uh, this is where the, the meat of the action occurs. Our researchers are looking at a bridge. Imagine, if you will, the girders are here. We have our cross beam supporting the girders. And if we had, we would have a, a concrete bridge deck as a riding surface. And that's the riding surface that our load carriage would be passing on over 17,000 passes per day, imagine that, over the months and creating 15 years of deterioration in six months. And that's essentially how we would want to get that physical loading. All in the meantime, we would have the heating, we would have the rain come down on, on that deck, and we would also have the icing salts that we would see on any bridge across the country. The Beast is designed to help answer questions that are driving us towards an infrastructure that will last and be easily repaired, quickly repaired, and keep our nation's economy moving forward. This type of project cannot compromise on quality. To do so would mean major delays in the experiments they are conducting. The Fuji Electric uh, VG drive was selected for this application simply because of the need for performance uh, and robustness. The carriage is loaded to simulate traffic conditions from 5,000 to 30,000 pounds. And we're doing that repeatedly, nonstop over a six month period of time. That was a huge force demand on the system. So we had to go with a very large winch. The winch is powered by a 400 horsepower motor and the drum and motor are turned by a Fuji Electric 400 horsepower variable frequency drive. And so as this carriage is moving back and forth, it is a complex system. It's a system that relies upon the load carriage to be able to bring that load back and forth and it relies on Fuji Electric system drive that allows that 24 hour a day, 365 days a year operation so that our researchers can continue to look at that aging process. The VG1 series drive is really the heart of the whole process. Anytime that we require precise movement and precise speed control, we rely on the Fuji Electric VG for that. The VG drive gave us the ability to put in acceleration curves. So rather than just hitting the accelerator and, and driving off as fast as you can, we were actually able to program in an acceleration curve. So you start off going slow, increase the amount of acceleration, but before we hit the, the beginning of the bridge where we're gonna be going constant velocity, we also wanted to slow down that acceleration. And again, by transitioning through those changes slowly, we could program in using the VG drive, the ability to speed up get to the velocity we wanted, and then run it constantly. And that controller kept that in very tight tolerance throughout the whole profile. And by having the ability to use the VG's controller in order to do that, we were able to optimize the performance of the beast. Fuji Electric is honored to be a part of such an innovative and groundbreaking project that will aid the transportation community in their effort to improve the infrastructure in this country. So the Fuji Electric Drive essentially drives the carriage and, and continues to allow this forward and backward motion. 
The high number of repetitions that the chassis makes on a daily basis to acquire data requires an electrical solution to the problem. A mechanical solution would not withstand the repeated starts and stops. We as researchers can't worry about a system failing. We can't worry about losing a day. Uh, we really must rely on every system component to do its job. Trying to acquire data, uh, you don't want to have variables such as failures in your electrical equipment. So the Beast is a special product and we like to use suppliers that are going to be with us through thick and thin. We have products that we sell internationally and by having a company like Fuji Electric on our team gives us the confidence that we're going to be able to meet our customers' needs no matter where they are around the world. With Fuji Electric, we feel that we get the one-on-one -on -one support in a service and engineering aspect that we would with a much smaller company. By working with Fuji, we had excellent technical support that allowed us to ask questions. They would get us answers you know, right away and we were able to get this tuned basically in a matter of a couple of days. And with other companies, that's not always the case. Our infrastructure is very important. Uh, we rely upon it every day. We go out to our jobs. We take that interstate roadway. Uh, we must find some answers to uh, why our bridges age. So through the work we're doing, we're, we're extremely excited to have a facility like this that allows us to study that, to come up with new materials, new innovations that will make sure that our bridges last longer. When we were approached by Rutgers University to help solve a problem, we knew that that was going to make a difference to everybody in, in the country. Our team really liked working with the Rutgers team and the Fuji Electric team and all of our suppliers in order to make sure that our nation's infrastructure can be maintained and be economical for us to maintain over the coming years. We believe that we're going to come up with answers to many of the problems that we see throughout our bridge infrastructure. Being a socially responsible company at Fuji Electric, the Beast represents an opportunity for us to participate in the rapid acquisition of data that can then be used to build a better infrastructure, not only in the Americas, but globally. This project is an example of Fuji Electric commitment to creating products that are socially responsible and can provide sustainable energy for the future.